morning, day four. <laughs> um, it's what time is it? I just woke up. It's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock in the morning. I think I'm used to like waking up early, but check it out. Oh my god. Uh, so sunny. Um, but that's exciting. But I can't go anywhere anyway, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, my I was waiting for drawing easel yesterday, but my drawing easel never arrived. So hopefully it will come today. Because I really want to start painting um, sitting down rather than I normally like. So I've got this. This what is this? Like um like an ottoman there. So I would normally just sit here and paint. But sitting here painting it like it hurts your back. So I want to paint like if I can sitting down on my chair on the desk. You know? Just here rather than here. Anyway, that's basically it. Um, let's make some. <sighs> drinks for morning. I think I feel like green tea today rather than more. Dalcona coffee. I think I've had enough of Dalcona coffee. So, yeah. Come. Quick disclaimer you guys, um, if you watch this till the end you'll notice that I have like three different sets of pajamas on. That's because I'm a terrible vlogger and I always forgot to film. Um, so I've just got a footage from a few different days that I've squished into one. Hopefully you don't mind. So let's continue to our matcha latte making. I just used um, the matcha powder that I got from T2. T2, I believe, is a Melbourne-based tea company. Um, they have a huge variety of different types of teas. So if you happen to love tea as much as I do, make sure you pop into a T2 store near you and um, yeah, have a look. And they've got also tea pots as well, which I really like because some of them are actually really, really cute. As you can tell, I'm already wearing a different pajama top, but I thought I want to do um, a quick video to show you one of my favorite breakfast food that I have been making almost every day um, during self-isolation. It's so simple. Um, it's scrambled eggs with a mashed avo on toast. Um, it is super simple, but I thought I'll show you anyway because it's um, my favorite, favorite breakfast food. So into the egg, instead of using salt, I use this Korean vegetable essence. So it is quite salty as well, so I would just use very little bit of it um, to mix in with the eggs to give the scrambled eggs a bit of a saltiness. And I also cracked a fresh black pepper into the eggs as well. Once they're all whisked properly, you are now ready to fry them. Usually with 
with my scrambled eggs, I don't necessarily like them to be fully cooked. So I still like a little bit of a wetness to my scrambled eggs as well. It is preference, so you can do whatever you like with your scrambled eggs. Once you take your scrambled eggs off the heat, um, you can put them on the plate and you're ready to grab your avocado and um, mash them. Usually with my avo, I use a fork instead of a spoon so I can easily um, mash them when I take the meat out of the skin. Uh, but again, this is up to you. This is just how I do it just because it's a lot quicker and much much easier to smash the avo onto the toast later on. Once you're done with the avo, all you need to do is toast your bread. I'm using a wholemeal bread, but you can use any bread that you prefer. Um, I just love the scent of like freshly toast bread. Don't you? I also add a little bit of tomato sauce and sriracha mayo to the eggs and the avo just so it has a bit of a flavor kick to it. <laughs> That's it you guys, we are done. Breakfast is ready. I am so excited because it is so quick and easy. While having breakfast, I normally really love to watch some YouTube video. I've been so obsessed lately with anything that has to do with like true crime or like a mystery, like ghost stories. So this one that I'm watching right now is Crazy TV. She does a lot of like South Korean uh, murder mystery stories. So if you are into those type of stories, I will leave um, a link to her channel down in the description box below. What I appreciate by um, staying home in self-isolation as well is definitely aside from I am able to um, cook more for myself, I am also able to take my time when it comes to my skincare routine. So during isolations, I've been really um, stretching out my skincare um, routine steps and really indulging um, in a bit of a self-pampering, which I will show you next. The Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. This is a product that I have um, in my skincare routine for a very long time. It's very trusty, um, deep exfoliation um, products that I love to use. Now that I can't go to my monthly esthetician appointments because of the lockdown, this has been a really good staple for a deep exfoliating um, products in my skincare routine. 
you're supposed to leave it for 20 minutes on your skin so while I do that I will just read a book instead of um, looking at my phone or watching the computer it's a good time to just really relax and rest your eyes as well Once you're 20 minutes up, you wash off your Sukari Baby facial and I like to put a shit mask on. Um, when I'm working, I tend to get a bit lazy so I don't get to use shit mask that often. But today, as a self-pampering day, I think sheet mask is definitely a must step. Um, what I like about sheet mask is that it's a immediate surge of hydration on your skin when you use it. Um, and a lot of this sheet mask has leftover essence in the package which I do not waste and I use the um, excess essence on my neck as well as my hands Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out It's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what they all say It's easier said than done That guy Talking to everyone But it all comes down to you You are my anxiety Once you're 20 minutes up with the sheet mask, you put it away <laughs> um, and what I normally do, there will always be excess essence on the skin so I would just tap it away um, until they're all fully absorbed into the skin so I don't waste any essence at all. Once they all absorb in, I move on to the next step of my skincare routine. I'm using this L'Occitane Reset Eye Serum, which I have been loving. Um, I do a little bit of a gentle massage as well around the um, eye area, onto the um, bone specifically, um, and just do a gentle massage to stimulate the circulation around the eye areas. Once I've done that, we've got the Sol Hua Su, the first care activating serum. I've been using this serum um, for a few months now. Um, it's a very light um, floral scent which I found quite relaxing. And lastly, the Peach and Lily uh, Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. Because of its rich texture, I think it's the perfect finish to a self-pampering day. Thank you so much for watching everybody. See you in the next video. Bye bye.